Okay, so here we are again back at the rock wall that Robert's been making. Um, the rock wall is kind of done and we're shoving newspaper up underneath there so that we can fill the gap and we're going to cap this rock wall off with concrete. The cap really makes a big difference in the finished look. The cap makes a big difference in the finished look of the rock wall. I think without it, the rock walls look kind of rough and they just look unfinished. Um, so the, the four or five walls like this I've done, I've always put a cap on them. I think it cleans them up. And if the cap is a little different, different material than the rock wall, um, it also helps set it off and make it look a little more unique when there's two different types of rock or two different types of stone or, or in this instance, it'll be concrete on top and, and, the, and the natural rock underneath and the two set each other off and make it look really good. So basically we're zigzagging some plywood on the outside edge to have an overlapping lip. Um, and Richard is coming by and putting stuffing paper in the gaps. You might be able to see the paper in here. He's shoving newspaper in there because we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll mix concrete and pour it in here, try to mix some a little dry to put around the cracks. And we have sort of suspended the forms and then we come along and screw the underneath piece in place and finish it off just like that and then we will pour that pour that uh um cap on there